I've been playing with Lego since I was in middle school. Every year, I'd save up my allowance just to afford the next Clone Wars ship. I've collected sets for more than a decade, but during COVID, around when I began this YouTube journey, I had converted to Catholicism, which had me reflect on some of my life choices, habits, hobbies. It would be a year after my conversion in which I would actually sell the majority of my Lego collection. And now this year, I believe it's time to do it again. Welcome back to Sawyer Studios, everyone. This is why I'm selling my Lego collection again. Everyone, I want to show you the studio has been taken down. We've got Lego in here. We've got Lego in here in so many bins that I can't even describe. There's the dropship and ATOT Walker. We're going. So in 2020, I moved to Illinois. This was truly the farthest I had been away from home and the most independent I would ever be. I was excited to begin my journey, starting at a new school, a new degree, new friends, new church, etc. However, I had fallen into a trap of making so much Lego content, scrolling for hours on Facebook, Marketplace, Mercari, eBay to find the best deals, which I did. But after a few months, I had spent over $2,000 on Lego already. This was not a healthy nor sustainable lifestyle. I still enjoyed playing with Lego, building it, displaying it, but it had really gotten to the point where it was a problem. I needed to figure out a way to control my Lego hobby and not have my Lego hobby control me. As I said, in 2020, I had converted to Catholicism. Within the church, we talk a lot about idolatry and covetousness, and a lot of times it's a good thing, not something bad that can become an idol. Father Mike always says a good thing becoming an ultimate thing is not the right usage <laughs> of that good thing and that our hearts are idol making factories. We just love to make idols out of everything. I wanted to honestly make sure that God was still the God over my life, that he was the center, that he was the priority. And that my entire being, my heart, my mind, my soul, loved him more than anything. I wanted to be free from what could jeopardize that perfect relationship. And I needed to make sure that I wasn't turning my potentially healthy Lego hobby into an all-out addiction. <laughs> after a lot of prayer and almost a year of dragging my feet after I received an answer, I decided to pull the plug, sell most of my Lego collection, the sets I collected, the Clone Wars sets, the Republic sets. I needed to almost prove to myself that I wasn't addicted to Lego, that at the end of the day, it is just plastic, and that if it came down to it, that I could live a very happy and fulfilling life without it. And on top of selling most of my Lego collection, I felt the conviction to give away my favorite Lego set, the dropship with ATOT Walker. And that's when I decided to make a Mocktober contest and make that the first prize. And I know some of you are probably thinking that I'm crazy, that that's absurd. And this isn't a video, I'm not preaching, I'm not trying to uh, convict anyone. I'm just sharing what I felt I needed to do in order to keep myself in check, to show that my Lego collection did not have a hold on me, on my decisions, that I could freely buy Lego and freely not. So I'm doing it again. I'm selling once again around half of my Lego collection just to keep myself in check so I don't fall back into bad habits. This is what I'd say. If you are someone that has a Lego collection and you are also wondering if you are addicted to Lego, my challenge is this. Choose one set, could even be a set you don't really like, and give it away. I think if you can do that, you're in a pretty good spot. But if you can't even let go of one set, even that one set that's in storage, that's collecting dust that you forget that you even have, you might 
want to reflect a little where Lego holds a place in your heart. And if you want Lego to be one of the top priorities for you, that's great. But your Lego should be a priority because you chose it to be there, not necessarily because it decided to place itself above all. Anyway, that is my food for thought for all of you today. A uh, different video for Surya Studios, but yeah, please like, comment, subscribe, and happy collecting.